To start off, what is climate change? The term climate refers to general weather conditions of a place over many years. In United States, for example, Maine's climate is cold and snowy in winter, while South Florida is tropical year-round. Climate change is significant variation of average weather conditions, say conditions becoming warmer, wetter, or drier over several decades or more. And while climate change and global warming are often used interchangeably, global warming is the recent rise in global average temperature near the Earth's surface. And that is just one aspect of climate change. How is climate change measured over time? Earth orbiting satellites, remote meteorological stations, and ocean buoys are used to monitor present day weather and climate. But it's pathoclimatary data from natural sources like ice cores, tree rings, corals, and ocean and lake sediments that have enabled scientists to extend the Earth's climatic records back millions of years. These records provide a comprehensive look at the long-term changes in Earth's atmosphere, oceans, land surface, and frozen water systems. Scientists then feed this data into sophisticated climate models that predict future climate trends. What causes climate change? The mechanics of Earth's climate are quite simple. When energy from the sun is reflected off the Earth and back into space, or when the Earth's atmosphere releases energy, the planet cools. When the Earth absorbs the sun's energy, or when atmospheric gases prevent heat released from the Earth from radiating into space, the planet warms. A variety of factors, both natural and human, can influence the Earth's climate system. Humans, more specifically, the greenhouse gas emissions we generate are the leading cause of the Earth's rapidly changing climate. Greenhouse gases play an important role in keeping the planet warm enough to inhibit, but the amount of these gases in our atmosphere have skyrocketed in the recent decades. Concentrations of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxides have increased in at least the 800,000 years. The burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas for electricity, heat, and transportation is a primary source of human-generated emissions. A second major source is deforestation, which releases carbon into the air. It's estimated that logging, clear-cutting, fires, and other forms of forest degradation can drive up to 20% of global carbon emissions. Other human activities that generate air pollution include fertilizer, livestock production, and industrial processes that release gases. Activities like agriculture and road construction can change the reflectivity of Earth's surface, leading to local warming or cooling too. Getting into the question at hand, what are some of the effects of climate change? As climate change transforms global ecosystems, it affects everything from the places we live, to the water we drink, to the air we breathe. One effect is extreme weather. As Earth's atmosphere heats up, it collects, retains, and drops more water, changing weather patterns, making wet areas wetter and dry areas drier. Higher temperatures worsen and increase the frequency of many types of disasters, including storms, floods, heat waves, and droughts. These events can have devastating and costly consequences, such as polluting the air and leading to loss of life. Another effect is dirty air. When the temperature rise, not only does our air get dirtier with smog and smoot levels, but there's also more pollutants that go into the air such as mold and pollen. Another effect is the health risks. Extreme weather events such as severe storms and flooding can lead to injury, drinking water contamination, and storm damage that may compromise basic infrastructure or lead to community displacement. Another effect is rising seas. The Arctic is heating twice as fast as any other place on the planet. As its ice sheets melt in the seas, our oceans are intracted to rise one to four feet higher, threatening coastal ecosystems and low-lying areas. Island nations face particular risk, as some of our world's largest cities, including New York, Miami, and Sydney. Another effect is warmer, more acidic oceans. Those oceans absorb about one quarter and one third of our fossil fuel emissions and are now 30% more acidic than they were in regular times. This poses a serious threat to underwater life, particularly creatures with shells or skeletons like oysters, clams, and coral. It can have a devastating impact on shellfish, as well as the fish, birds, and mammals that depend on shellfish for food. Rising ocean temperatures are also altering the range and pollution of underwater species and contributing to coral bleaching events, capable of killing entire reefs, ecosystems that support more than 25% of all marine life. We have talked about what is climate change, how is it measured, and the effects of climate change. 
As you have seen, climate change has very devastating effects and consequences all around it. We need to do stuff in our power to help it as well, such as reducing greenhouse gas pollution across every sector from electricity and transportation to buildings and agriculture. There's more than our well-being at risk. Ocean ecosystems and wildlife are also at stake. We need to see what we can do in our power to help this. Thank you for viewing.